A B C D E F G H I J K L M có khoảng mình mong nào sâu thầm hơn tình thương ở đâu đây nỗi nhớ em mơ về bên anh ngôi sao như xuống thấp cho ta gần nhau hơn In parts of the world torn by decades of war and genocidal violence, an American International Library project is planting the seeds of hope, one library at a time. In America, we take literacy for granted. Access to information is as close as the internet, if not in our homes, then at the nearest public library. But in Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, where millions have died in decades of violence and oppression, such access is only a dream. Chuck Toish, an American businessman from Milwaukee, is doing his best to make those dreams come true by building public libraries throughout all three countries. The project began in 1999 when curiosity about the country he had first seen as an American infantryman during the Vietnam War brought him back. Yeah, I had an impulse to come back uh, that had been latent for a long time, but about 30 years after I was here the first time, 69 and 70, finally decided I'd reached the point in my life where I wanted to do that, and that's, that's what I did. So now we're standing here in Hanoi. Not only did Toish return, he met many people, among them former enemies who touched his heart. Seeing a country that welcomed international cooperation, he sought a project that would improve the lives of the Vietnamese people. Also had another impulse there that I wanted to do something, and at first it was going to be a bridge. But my Vietnamese friend here suggested that what his country really needed was libraries, because Vietnam has never really had libraries like we have in the Western sense. And so the idea came from our in-country representative, an old uh, former Arvin officer. And uh, it's something they needed, something we understand, and so it's been a good collaboration between the Vietnamese and Americans. Toys used funds he had earmarked for a world tour to establish a nonprofit library foundation. With support from other donors, mostly fellow Vietnam veterans, the first library in Quang Nai, where he had been stationed, was dedicated in 2001. We've got uh, 15 projects in Vietnam right now, and uh, they're located all the way from Tai Bing, which is on the Gulf of Tonkin, down to Kien Giang which is down in the Delta and borders Cambodia. But our first library was in Quang Ai province, and, uh, where I had served during the war. And then the, uh, but our main focus has been in Quang Chi province, which is the province that straddles the old demilitarized zone or the 17th parallel. In Quang Tri province, where several libraries have been built, the goal is an electronically linked provincial library system. A long-term goal is the linkage of libraries throughout Vietnam. Yeah, that's something that's really exciting and we hope that other people will kind of pick up that excitement because uh, they've never had a public library system like we are so taking for granted in the U.S., uh, which is a terrific system, bar, uh, number one in the world. And we hope to bring that idea to Vietnam. And uh, we have cooperation with the officials here to do that in Quang Tri province. There are 10 districts in Quang Tri province and we built major libraries in six of those ten districts. And in those libraries we've got books and a computer and are getting internet service in. We want to build four more, link up those libraries with computers and with a bookmobile that will travel uh, from library to library. And for the first time they would have a provincial library system like our systems where you can exchange books and information and resources so we can multiply our holdings and multiply the use. And uh, there's a special uh, kind of energy for that here in Vietnam, a Western, uh, kind of a Western library system as opposed to individual buildings just kind of indiscriminately plotted around the, uh, the landscape. The grand dream is a national public library system that links up all these provincial public library systems. Uh, and that's a, a way off in the distance, but uh, 
We've calculated with our program, it's about $22 million is what that would cost to do that. And uh, sometimes when I see a baseball contract, all I see is a national public library system in Vietnam because uh, it's, it's, it's off in the distance. We're just small now, but we, wanna, we have a principle. And that is a principle we want to be big by being small. Our projects are small, but we can manage them well. Uh, the largest project's 35000 and the small ones are five to $15,000. So this allows us to manage well. We don't have a shrinkage in our donors. When a donor gives money, it gets to the project. The project's focus is on building libraries in rural and remote areas like Quang Tri, where Twice says the need is greatest. Yeah, you know, I come from a farm in Wisconsin, and uh, about every uh, three or four miles in every township, somewhere back in the 1880s and, and thereabouts, somebody had the vision to build a little schoolhouse. And really what they need here and what they're trying to do is the same concept, uh, is, is to go where nobody has gone before and build something nobody has built before. And that's libraries in these hinterland areas because we know that there, there, there's uh, opportunity, uh, opportunity out there for the children in those areas is, is going to lead to, to, to peace and expansion in the future. Most of the libraries are built in the rural areas and the farmers in the remote areas they need uh, to have books uh, about uh, let's say uh, husbandry or agriculture or planting uh, trees or taking care of animals or uh, take care of their children or some daily uh, technology or something like that. So when the libraries are built, we feel that uh, we have a big response from the local community. And many of them find that the books in the libraries is the great help. We don't build the library alone or far away from other buildings. Would be We want to have uh, what we call a cultural complex, which is a school around it or the cultural center or the children club or something around it and to make the whole thing as the cultural uh, complex and somewhat the library becomes the center of the activities in the rural area, in the community. The project's libraries are substantial monuments to literacy and free access to information, as well as the importance of international cooperation. Their design echoes traditional American library architecture, but they are uniquely a part of their local culture built and operated by the communities they serve. There's an excitement about education here anyway. It's kind of a, it's been ingrained in the culture for thousands of years. So you don't have to sell the idea of education. And then you come with the idea of a library that could hold anything, not just polemical works. Uh, in the Western sense, there, there's an enthusiasm for it and a commitment to it by the local officials that makes doing the projects pretty easy because the cooperation is terrific and the deep commitment of the public in these communities to do it. Uh, not only build the libraries, continue to sustain them and to make them grow. Uh, when we come back to visit them, uh, we're greeted with open arms and uh, there's a human side of the libraries too and that's as exciting as the practical implications of getting books to people that haven't had books. Nowhere is the need for libraries greater than in Laos, one of the region's poorest countries. In villages like Van Lao Yai, where there is no electricity and students study in buildings with dirt floors, Madame Kongdran Nadevang is struggling to build small dreams. I need uh, some support from individuals, some uh, organization come to, to, to see me and to work together uh, to, uh, because uh, many, many villages need library like this. It's the small library. Finish everything, include the table, book service, book, and uh, uh, staff formation. For $35,000, the Library Project Foundation can build a library that will serve as a cultural centerpiece for the community and a catalyst for growth for the surrounding region. Some libraries, called small dreams, can be built for as little as five to $15,000. Not 
not computer because according to the village, uh, sometimes they, they have the electricity, sometimes they don't have. But the, the, the small like this, we, 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 can, we cannot use a uh, computer, but we bring uh, the more book, the book, because uh, we promote to, uh, uh, reading promotion, we, we, uh, we promote people to read before. Between 1975 and 1979, some two million Cambodians, about a fourth of the country's population, died in genocidal violence. In rural Takeo province, near the capital city of Phnom Penh, the project supports the work of Cambodian journalist Lord Chandara, who believed so strongly in the need for libraries that he turned his own family's home into one. This is important because in, in Cambodia, just the, the country emerged from the war and the Khmer Rouge just kill the intellectual people uh, and they uh, destroy the books. And so we think that if we want to, to rebuild the country and we need the, the human uh, capital, human resource, and we need the people to uh, get educated. And the library is, is one of the, the, uh, the, the, the projects that can can uh, provide the people, can they come to learn through the, the books and reading material. And it's like the, when, when we come, when one come to read the book and then it's like they can get access to the outside world. This project I want to change like the, the people uh, thinking and uh, Cambodian uh, people do not have a ringing habit. So try to, to, to uh, to inspire them to, to read in the book, and especially the library project is, is, uh, is important in democracies and, and without the knowledge, and we cannot uh, build up in anything, even the countries. But libraries represent oh. far more than bricks and mortar, or even books yeah. and magazines. They are wow. monuments to peaceful cooperation, to building relationships. <laughs> cho ta gần nhau hơn đêm nghe tiếng mưa rơi đêm mây triệu hạt rồi mà she said the song is um, about the relationship the love uh, the passion between the two um, the two people american and vietnamese in part, in general and <coughs> between the Quang Thi people and the Library of Vietnam projects in particular. Uh, and she wow. hopes that the relationship will uh, last long and will become better and better. The idea is that building the library, we say, is the first half of our promise and commitment, not only in the communities we do it, but to the donors that help make it possible. The key is coming back. We have a motto, the last thing we say when we, when we leave one time is, uh, this is only the beginning, we always come back. And when we come back, we try to even add just a few books, something to continue the relationship personally and to continue it practically to expand the library. And this creates a closeness and a sense of camaraderie with the officials that gets us working together. How can we improve management? How can we uh, uh, keep open more hours or uh, educate our librarians further? And we're part of those decisions because we always come back and we continue to contribute, even if only in a small way, a few hundred dollars a year. So that's, I think that's the bigger side of our project, is what we do continuing. And uh, that, I think, is, should be exciting for anybody thinking about getting involved with our library project.